guys and good morning it's actually already May and I'm excited about the weather because I really hope it's going to be finally like sunny days and I'll be able to wear a dresses because actually it's quite challenging to trust myself if it's not uh, really the best weather because I actually wear just a maternity leggings like all the time and some t-shirt but actually I don't have many t-shirts that will fit me and I don't know I just find it quite hard to dress myself like that so I'm really excited about the dresses because it's going to be much much easier and also about the sun uh, actually I did my eyebrows yesterday so I feel more alive uh, still need to get some tan so it's actually quite sunny outside so I'll be going outside and enjoy the weather a little bit uh, also as I was uh, sick last week I actually got a flu and it was just terrible. I uh, had some flu and cold, which I still have a little bit. Uh, even like a fever and sore throat. I was just a mess and couldn't really do anything. So I basically just spent all the time watching some TV and relaxing and trying to get better which I'm finally better uh, but uh, as usual I got a acne scars after a fever so I have one here and some here and on my shoulder which is just annoying so I really hope it will go away and uh, the sun usually helps me with that so yeah uh, actually I'll go on a little walk later today uh, as I had my pregnancy uh, diabetes test uh, my boyfriend promised me a sweet a little dessert which I'm going to pick up today probably and I'm excited about it uh, and also we had a barbecue yesterday because it was quite nice weather even though then it started to rain but it was actually after we were basically done with the barbecue so it was okay uh, so I still have some cheese uh, from the yesterday's barbecue because I was really well full and couldn't eat anything at all uh, anymore so I have it in my fridge and just about to eat it and then I'm going to go for a walk and here's a pump update 29 weeks she's actually kicking like crazy for the past few days so I'm excited about it So this is my outfit of the day and I'm actually about to wear a denim jacket over it as it's uh, quite cloudy sometimes and a little bit windy. Uh, this is actually baby bump update, 29 weeks and 
it's a laundry day today so I basically have a washing machine a and a drying machine switch just on so that's uh, the noise you can actually hear and then just wants to go also wanted to show you this little uh, pillow for our baby girl it's already washed we actually bought it yesterday and it says Bambi and here it says little baby so it's just drying and also she already has a few dresses right here actually there's our stuff as well uh, the clothes that I don't actually wear a lot and uh, even some clothes that I can't really fit in at the moment so the first dresses and it's actually a bigger size I think it's like 92 or something like that it's like for a year old um, maybe even two years it's actually quite a big one then the other ones This is the dresses we actually bought yesterday, it's already washed and it's 74, it's 6 to 9 months and I love this one so much. It's just so adorable and can't really wait to see her wearing it. And the last piece uh, she has in this little dresser is this little skirt it's actually like a ballerina skirt and I actually hope she can wear it for like newborn shooting even though it's actually quite big one but we'll manage it somehow and she can wear it with uh, probably something white there's actually diapers and more diapers, stuff like that. Actually, one thing that I really hate about the bigger size uh, of my bra is the fact these stripes are too like thick and uh, it's hard to hide it. And as it's summer hopefully nearby uh, it will be even just harder so I really really hope that after a perf I'll have my normal size of uh, my press because this is just not what I'm actually enjoying uh, so Actually, the denim jacket is like a lifesaver, <laughs> not only for curl, but even for like hiding these stripes and I don't know. You know you shouldn't be there, right? No, I'm sorry, but no. Okay, when it comes to outfits, I feel like I'm the most undesirable uh, at the moment. And as I was actually checking the weather outside, it is actually sunny and it seems like it's quite hot. So I just decided for a shoulder dress with short sleeves. And it actually fits my baby bum nicely, even though it's not a maternity dress. Uh, I actually have these ones for like one or two years and I really, really love it.
I'm back home and it's actually a really nice sunny day outside so I'm just going to sit outside and enjoy the sun I'm gonna show you actually what I pulled and it's a sweet dessert and a uh, tomato soup which I was craving for so I'm just going to show you so those are the desserts it's actually with a caramel and a tomato soup with parmesan which i just crave for so i had to buy it and we'll see uh hopefully it will taste good it actually looks really yummy so i'm excited about it actually as i was taking a time i seriously don't get it but it took me like nearly a hour uh, it was actually a walk uh, with buying that food and uh, usually like without be pregnant it would took me just like maybe half of the time I'm actually even quite out of breath and I don't know I feel like the baby girl weighs more and more and it's getting actually quite uncomfortable. Uh, really can't wait for her to be here with us and for the walks with the trolley and just enjoy the weather outside and walks and some little trips uh, and have my like all body uh, without a pump and you know without like stressing out which clothes will fit me and which will not so <laughs> about to go outside again and get some uh, last bits of the sunshine because basically in a probably like few minutes it won't be really sunny outside like uh, the sun will be behind the uh, house so uh, I'll just go there and tell clearly as well because she really enjoys to be outside but first I want to make myself a iced coffee uh, which I basically really really enjoy uh, basically since I am pregnant I don't really drink coffee because basically I just don't cry for it and I don't really like coffee that much like at the moment so I just simply don't drink it but uh, recently we started to make a iced coffee which I really really love plus uh, yesterday we also bought a, a caramel topping so uh, I'll give it uh, a caramel sweetness and uh, taste which I'm really excited about because I love caramel so I can wait for it
it's another day and basically I'm just sitting here uh, waiting for the uh, oil uh, to moisturize in my skin so here's my belly balm and uh, about to do my makeup uh, actually it's not really sunny day today and I'm not really excited about it because it's quite cloudy, it's windy uh, and it definitely looks like it's going to rain which I just don't really like uh, so we'll see really hope we could go outside a little bit but if it's going to be this weather we are just gonna stay at home um uh, so yeah i'm about to do my makeup and uh i don't really know what i'll do probably cook something uh already clean the flat and uh the washing machine is on actually my acne is right here and it's annoying uh, so I'll probably do some like skincare routine to prevent it and to heal it a little bit faster basically means just my mascara um, I already have a cream on my acne to heal it and actually I really really hope it will heal till tomorrow even though it takes already like few days uh, basically tomorrow there's going to be a my last concert and it's basically a a uh, few concerts, uh, it's a whole day action and we are going to go there with my boyfriend of course and with my parents and my sister and yeah I'm most like likely to uh, film a little bit so I'm going to show you a few concerts uh, from the action and hopefully it will be nice weather tomorrow because actually I don't really know what to wear I basically plan to wear a, a t-shirt with leggings uh, so it's like a basic outfit and it's like okay if it will be sunny or if it will be cold weather uh, plus a denim jacket I believe and a light jacket like the pink one I wear a lot lately uh, if it's cold because uh, we are going to be there till like probably 11 p.m. which is um, actually a cold weather already so We'll see, hope it won't rain, even though we actually have a uh, like little coat uh, to protect us because you can't really take an umbrella there, so we'll see. Uh, I'm also a little bit nervous about like uh food there because uh basically i'm going to take a lot of snacks but uh can't really take too much and uh, also about the drinks because you are not allowed to take any water there anything basically any liquid uh so you'll need to buy something there and usually in the Czech Republic basically alcoholic drinks are much much cheaper than the non-alcoholic ones and obviously I'm not going to drink a alcohol so <laughs> uh, yeah 
So I'm just about to probably relax a little bit and uh, watch TV because I still have a program to watch there. Uh, it's basically about a giving a birth and it's like a little um, um, I don't really know what the word is. Um, basically, like I'll be watching just a few women who are giving a birth, so I'll see what uh, it looks like <laughs> and what can happen and basically everything. So, and this is how the bed looks like all day. There's a few toys that my mom and my sister did and even this one which is going to hang on the wall I'm actually excited about it and I'll probably put a little pumpy pillow out there as well so Actually, the baby girl kicks me in the ribs, which is definitely not comfortable at all. Uh, I believe it's basically because uh, she doesn't really have much space in my belly, as uh, my belly isn't really that big. Uh, but it's definitely the biggest it's ever been. Uh, but she's about uh, 40 centimeters and uh, I believe that she doesn't really have much space out there so every time she wants to move uh, she kicks and uh, kicking into my ribs is definitely not my favorite it's quite painful as well um, yeah I'm probably about to have some pastry with powder i don't know i just been craving for it at the moment and um, i also want to make a like tea soup uh with curry and uh, mushrooms and uh probably even banana uh, I know it sounds weird, but I had that one and it tastes amazing. So I'm probably going to do that today. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely I'm going to eat something because I'm quite, not like hungry, but I'm craving for something. So um, yeah. So I'm about to cook a soup I was talking about. Uh, I already chopped a onion and uh, I'm going to show you the other ingredients I'm going to use. Uh, hopefully it will taste good even though I don't have much ingredients uh, for the soup. <laughs> uh, so we'll see but uh, it should taste really really nice. So there's already a onion with a little bit of oil, then red curry paste. I'm going to use just a little bit of it because it's actually spicy and my boyfriend don't really like it. Um, then mushrooms is actually champions, uh, coconut milk and uh, I'm going to use also a banana and probably some kind of cheese we'll see and of course some uh, herbs and uh, spices so that's it and hopefully it will taste good
So in the end, I decided to uh, put the whole curry pasta there because basically it didn't have the color I was looking for. Even though it's still not the color I'm basically just wanting, uh, I still need to add some spices and banana and probably some kind of cheese. I'll see. Um, it's already cooking and definitely can't wait to eat it because it's actually quite uh, cold today and it's cold outside so it's perfect time for a warm soup. So I'm about to uh, run a bath because I basically want to uh, wash my hair and I also want to curl it for the concerts tomorrow. Oh, sorry, I don't really know what happened to my hair. Um, so yeah. I'm just about to have a nice little bath and relax a little bit even though I basically didn't do anything today. I just cleaned the flat and uh, did some laundry and cooked a dinner which is all I did today. And I'll probably watch some TV because there's actually nothing much to do. Uh, especially in this weather, it's actually still windy, cloudy and quite cold outside. Uh, at least it's not raining, so hopefully it won't rain tomorrow as well. Uh, yeah. I actually am quite bored. Um, feel I need to go outside and enjoy the sunshine, which sadly it isn't coming. And hopefully next week there will be a much, much uh, better weather. It should be actually like summer, so I really hope so, fingers crossed. So I'm just about to go to the bath and wash my hair, but before that I just decided I'm going to uh, cut my hair a little bit, just the split of ends and uh, it's basically better if you do that before you wash your hair. So I'm just going to do that and then wash my hair and curl it in the uh, evening probably because I just want to try it and uh, I basically always will try my hair while uh, it's like almost impossible to blow dry it like 100% plus it wouldn't be really a benefit to my hair so I do that like 70% maybe and then I let it dry so uh, I'm going to blow dry my hair wait and then I'm going to curl it <laughs> So out of breath and out of breath as well. Uh, I was actually thinking about the trimesters and definitely my favorite one was the second trimester, specifically the fourth and the fifth uh, month when uh, I didn't feel sick anymore but my baby bone was 
much much smaller uh, actually to be honest you couldn't even tell I was pregnant till like the fifth month um, it was a little bit visible but uh, not that much and uh, when I put on clothes and you know like some a little bit oversized t-shirt you couldn't really see anything so uh, it was just amazing time and now it's getting really uncomfortable uh, I'm not definitely used to have a pump and uh, actually I find even these smallest things quite challenging. Um, for example, yesterday I took a walk and it actually took me one hour <laughs> to get back home and I was out of breath. I, I don't know, uh, it was just weird. I'm not really used to that because usually I uh, walk really, really fast and I just don't struggle with it. But now I'm just super, super slow. My boyfriend always needs to wait for me because I'm not really able to walk so fast and I'm getting used to breath and uh, I even need some breaks like during the walk to you know have some drink and uh, to catch my breath a little bit and just to simply rest a little bit plus of course I always need to look for the toilet because being pregnant means you just definitely need a toilet much much more than usual uh, and now I even found really challenging uh, to wash my hair I actually wash my hair in the bath as we don't have a shower and it's definitely a challenge <laughs> Uh, I'm not really able to bend over and uh, wash my hair properly and it just takes much more time and um, it's really uncomfortable for me and I don't know. Uh, so yeah. I'll probably try my hair in a while and then I'm probably going to curl it or I'm going to curl it in the morning because we just decided that uh, we don't need to be there so early and uh, we actually don't need to watch all the concerts because basically for me, there are just two singers I definitely want to see and uh, I believe my boyfriend wants to see more of them so we are going to check it and he's going to tell me which ones he wants to see so we'll go there a little bit earlier but definitely probably not the whole day so I can even curl my hair in the morning. Um, just relaxing here and have a uh, anti uh, tray oil on my pelly and uh, leaving it to moisturize it in my skin. So, also about my pregnancy journey. I forgot to mention that I find even like pro drying my hair challenging. I uh, just did blow, my, blow dry my hair and uh, basically 
usually I will get a big ache and I'm not really used to it because I'm not a person who usually get big aches and uh, basically when I blow dry my hair or like uh, even lay on a couch and want to just stand up it takes me quite a long time to do that uh, by that I mean basically a few seconds but I'm not really used to it uh, it's definitely something I'm not really used to and I don't even probably want to get used to it uh, even like you know, wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom to pee uh, means that I need to uh, stand up from the pad and it's definitely challenging. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you guys have like any uh, ideas how to help your cakes during the pregnancy please let me know down in the comments uh, I would appreciate it because <laughs> this is definitely uncomfortable and um, um, yeah actually baby girl has like some uh, fun with kicking into my ribs today and it's definitely quite painful <laughs> Oh, 
sunny day outside so I'm definitely about to go outside and enjoy the most of it I uh, have some sunbathing and read the book probably Lila is going outside with me because she actually enjoys it and uh, yesterday it just wasn't really sunny it was quite hot but uh, then it started to rain so we had to stay inside there and uh, yeah, I actually need some sun to uh, be a little bit tan and uh, look more alive 
plus it always helps me with acne and I actually have acne right here it's quite bad and it uh, lasts for like a week already uh, so I'll definitely <laughs> uh, need this to be uh, out of my face till the weekend because we are probably about to have a pregnancy photo shoot with my boyfriend. Uh, his uh, ex colleague is actually about to take photos of us uh, as he's a uh, photographer as well. So we'll borrow him our cameras and he'll take photos for us. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to look my best. Um, I'm probably craving for some fruit again. I actually had to take an um, apple yesterday before I went to sleep. Uh, I actually had a dinner and then I needed an apple as well. <laughs> so uh, our baby girl is definitely a fruit lover because I eat lots of fruit and uh, she always cries for more. Um, actually, last like two or three days, she's been kicking under my ribs, which is quite uncomfortable and it can be even quite painful. Um, and yeah, about the weekend, uh, we actually had a concert on Saturday. It was really amazing. Uh, actually, it was like the whole day action, but I was excited about two musicians. Uh, they were absolutely amazing. Uh, actually, uh, I had some problems with my blood pressure right there because basically uh, every time I stand and it's for like a long time plus there's uh, many people around me and uh, definitely most people are uh, higher than me uh, because I'm quite small I'm just uh, 105 57 centimeters so uh, basically everyone is taller than me so I just find it hard to breathe and I felt dizzy so I had to like go down and have a little rest um, then it was okay uh, so yeah, that's actually about the Saturday. We came back home like past midnight and uh, we just brushed our teeth and I had some apple <laughs> and um, we went to sleep. And yesterday we actually were spending uh, like the afternoon around our cars and I needed to clean it up because there was quite a mess like I needed to vacuum it because of course as you are sitting there there's a mess and some dust as well so I did that and my boyfriend uh, repaired something about his car I don't really understand it but um, yeah, I'm probably about to have some fruit and head outside to get some uh, sunlight and get some little tan because I'm really, really excited about it. And also here's a bump update, nearly for the weeks pregnant. So this is what I'm going to eat and it's actually for babies, uh, they are older than 6 months but <laughs> I love it and it's actually fruity, this one is a strawberry 
they have many many different ones with different fruit and also with vegetable and for babies also like meals like spaghetti and chicken with rice and whatever and I love these fruity ones so I'm going to eat it since I made one uh, so it's a long time because actually the hardest uh, part of it for me is definitely to leave free bananas for the receipt uh, right now we had lots of bananas and I just decided that I need to leave at least those free bananas for banana bread so I'm about to make it today and then I'm definitely going to Samba because it's uh, actually a great sunny day outside so I'm excited about it and uh, basically yesterday I Samba as well and it didn't really uh, happen to be a nice tan <laughs> Actually, you can already see a little bit in my face. Uh, my acne is still healing, so hopefully it will heal till this weekend for the photo shoot. Uh, but my legs are actually like literally one half is tanned, like even sunburned, and one half is like white which looks really crazy so I need to sunburn more and hopefully it will be good uh, I'm about to pick up a sunburn lotion and after sunburn cream uh, which I haven't used yesterday so I'm about to put a little bit of it I actually uh, don't really use it that much uh, and if I do use it, I never use anything above like 20 SPF. So, yeah, I'm actually about to use at least those 15 or 20 SPF to protect my skin a little bit, especially like my belly area, because obviously uh, my belly is completely white after a year of no sunbathing and uh, I need to protect a baby girl a little bit so I'm about to protect my skin mm -hmm. 